All right. Well, thank you uh, for everybody being here today. Uh, this is an exciting day uh, for both the men's and women's basketball program. Uh, we're excited about our, our team. We just finished up practice. Uh, we had one of those days uh, yesterday. We, it, it was actually the worst practice that we've had of the season. We had strung together a number of really good practices, but yesterday didn't go so well. And the girls came back today, and we just had an outstanding practice. And uh, a lot of that goes to our senior leader, leadership, uh, Chelsea Black, who will be speaking soon. Uh, she's a, a three-year starting point guard for us, and she just provides our team with that senior leadership that every team has to have. Um, we're excited about hosting the conference tournament again. Well, I mean, that, that is a big deal, and we're, we're very, very grateful to our administration uh, to go to bat and, and and get that back here in Birmingham. It's you know it's it's one of those things. It's it's uh, great for our university. It's great for the city of Birmingham, and and most importantly, it's really good for our teams to be able to play at home in, in front of a home crowd. So uh, I'll open it up for questions, but we're really excited about our team. What are those early signs? What are the things that they're doing that get you so excited? Well, one of it's the senior leadership. We we've got seven seniors. Uh, that have been with us uh, since we got here three years ago. Um, so they provide that daily senior leadership. When you, when you have a young team, your practices can be up and down because they don't consistently understand how hard you have to practice every day because the fact of the matter is we all know that the way you practice eventually is the way you're going to play in games. And so they have bought into every single day we're going to give it our best. And we, we a lot of times we talk in terms of that 1% Every single day, we want to be 1% better than we were the other, uh, than the previous day. And when you buy into that, you, your practices just get better and better, and you see the kids improving on a daily basis. You feel you have the pieces in place to make a championship run? We always do. I, I mean, wherever I've been, as long as I've been a, a player or a coach, I just always feel like, I mean, our goal is to win a championship. Now, with that being said, we get our players to buy into the fact who doesn't want to win a championship. And it comes down to what are you going to do every day on a daily basis uh, to win a championship. And the thing that we talk to our kids about on a daily basis, winning a championship is on the court, it's in the classroom, it's out in the community, and it's in their personal lives. And when you focus on those four things and every single day you make that a habit, championships are going to take care of themselves. So that's our focus. But I do feel like we have the, the uh, pieces in place to win a championship. At this level of basketball, uh, you mentioned senior leadership. Is there anything more paramount than senior leadership? No. I, I think Coach has to talk about the same thing. You have to have leadership. Um, and that's on the court. It's in the, it's in the locker room. Uh, it's, it's away from us. And when you get players like Chelsea Black, uh, Bianca Duffelmeyer, that understand what we want as a coaching staff, and then they're able to monitor the locker room. They're able to keep track of what our, our girls are doing away from us. Y you have to have that. Otherwise, there's a lot of shoulda, coulda, woulda. You know, teams that, that you look at them and you think, wow, they're talented enough to win a championship. Why don't they? I think it all goes back to what kind of leadership you have. So we definitely have that. Um, we've got some unproven players. Uh, we've got some players that have been in the program. Uh, you know, last year, Janae Smith, every single night you could count on her for 20 and 10, 20 points, uh, 10 rebounds. We've got some players that have the experience, but they really don't have the production yet. Uh, but what I've seen so far, Brittany Winborn has, you know, every now and then you get a kid that maybe hasn't done much their first three years, and then all of a sudden that senior year, things click. Things have really clicked for Brittany, and uh, I'm lo we're looking for her to have an outstanding season. She is a monster on the boards. Uh, she gives us an inside presence at both ends. So that's one person we're really looking at. You know, Kayla Anderson has the experience. She's just been battling that knee. Ever since she tore that ACL, she's had a, a very difficult time getting back to where she would like to be and where we need her to be. But um, Brittany's the one that sticks out right now, and, and a lot of people aren't going to know the name, but Kiana Farmer, who's a transfer from Auburn, uh, had the luxury of practicing all year with us last year. Now we get to have her for three years, but she's a big time player. She'll play the four spot four. She can score it uh, and she can rebound it. So really excited about those two. Coach, you've got two exhibition games here in March Order and before the regular season kicks off. What are you looking for out of the team uh, to get ironed out before the regular season? 
We look at exhibition games as a dress rehearsal uh, from how, what time we're going to get to the arena, uh, what's going to be the, the game day routine as far as shoot arounds, uh, how we're going to warm up. You know, we haven't even talked about our warm up routine, but we go through all those things. I think kids just you know, all get nervous. And when you play those exhibition games, we treat it just like a game. Uh, the only way that it might not be like a game, we're going to try to get everybody some playing time. Um, but as far as just working the kinks out, I, I, those exhibition games are so important to our team. Well, we're really excited about it, obviously. Um, we found that those trips are important for uh, several factors. And again, we want to thank our administration for allowing us to go on these types of trips. But I think that, you know, we've talked about the leadership. Along with leadership, you have to have that chemistry. And when you go on a road trip, uh, or a trip like Cancun, you're not with anybody else but the staff and the players. And so they have that time to bond. And we, we'll do a lot of activities as a team just to work on team building and get that close-knit group. Um, and, and so and we're excited about who we're playing. We're playing uh, High Point, which was a 20-plus win season last year. And then we've got North Carolina State. So we've, we'll have two tough games over there, but we'll also have the opportunity to let our players enjoy themselves a little bit too. So... We're excited about that. Um, I think practice is going really well right now. I think every day, just like Coach said, we're getting one percent better. Uh, he mentioned um, the practice that we had yesterday. It was, it's, it has, it was the worst practice we probably had, but today I feel like everybody bounced back. You know, we took it as that was yesterday. We're here today. Let's progress. Today is the only day that matters, and so every day has just been a great day to come out with my teammates and improve. And we're uh, we're definitely looking forward to a great season. I guess what does that kind of show you? Bouncing back, having the maybe the best practice you've had today, one day after the back practice. Um, it definitely showed that uh, we're going to persevere through a lot of things. Um, our goal this year is basically just, you know, competing for the championship. We want to be there. Uh, just like he talked about, a lot of the senior leadership, we're talking about that every day. Like, hey, let's uh, be leaders to our younger kids. They're definitely buying into what we're doing. And so bouncing back from things like that, we look at, like, tough losses that we had last year. We always had to bounce back. Don't worry about that one. Let's go out and get the next one. Um, I think it'll be different this year just because they're, uh, we're pretty much half of the team. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that, ha that plays a big role in what we're trying to do. Uh, senior leadership, I definitely agree that it's, um, it's a vital thing to the team. Uh, just having people outside of my voice, you know, step up and say, hey, be accountable for what you do. Let's make sure we're making all our times on our sprints. We're trying to... Uh, just have great, as many great practices as we can, prepare for our first game. I think that's very crucial in what we're trying to do. Uh, it's just been a great experience to see them like grow because I've, I've been a, a three-year captain. So, you know, I know how it is, but definitely to see like people such as Brittany Winborn, Diamond Webb, uh, Bianca Dufemeyer step in and fill those big shoes for us is great. Chelsea, is there anything since last season ended that you felt areas or something specific you wanted to work on to try to improve from you know, years past? Um, definitely my, my leadership, uh, leading by example. Uh, me personally, uh, on the defensive end, I think I've always been, you know, a solid defensive player, but definitely being a more aggressive defensive player, uh, letting my defense lead to offense, and definitely uh, being in shape. I have took a lot of pride in that. Just um, being able to finish out seasons, um, I think that this year, like conditioning-wise, I don't know that a, a guard that would be more conditioned than me. So I'm thinking, you know, that'll help me increase in points. Um, definitely with uh, just building my teammates up. So any aspect really is uh, something I'm looking to improve, and I work really hard. So uh, defense, of course, um, being in great condition, being able to lead this team, you know, in tough times down the stretch in games. Oh, uh, home court advantage is always great. Uh, love to see the crowds come out and support us. 
Uh, I definitely think that it always builds confidence to win at home. Um, of course, road wins are great, and it's a great feeling to always get one on the road. But when you're at home, and especially since we're hosting the Conference USA Championship again, uh, I definitely feel that that'll uh, increase some confidence in our players, see their families here, cheering them on. So we're always looking forward to those home games that we can get. And uh, we're definitely trying to go undefeated. That's always the goal, to always win home games.